I think it's about time I look at the Ventus 5S Velocore Plus shaft and I compare it to the BGT NRG stiff Brava shaft. Now I have really enjoyed hitting the Brava shaft because it is it's fast and it launches and it's really it's just a really fun shaft to hit. I keep picking it up every time that I want to just have a random whack, but I also really value the the solidity of the like tip section on the Velocore shafts. In these shafts, there's a different weave in the bottom, so it's less twisty. So your off center hits don't spin out as much. The, the ball flight is maintained, the ball speed is maintained a lot better. They are a solid shaft and in a 5S, it's about 50 grams, maybe just above. And it's just easy to move through the ball without losing too much resistance to twisting on off-center hits. The MOI is quite good on it. And apart from going in that bunker, I'm doing all right so far. Nice high draw, really good flight. And I can step on it. It kind of like, even in a 5S, I'm normally used to like a 6X, I'm used to something slightly heavier, slightly stiffer, but I can still give this a good thrashing and it keeps up. That was a terrible swing. Probably don't want that one. Not bad, not bad. Just hugging the right hand side of the target line. Same settings on the Brava. These, these are both relatively expensive shafts. The Velocore, you're looking at about 300 pounds, give or take. And the BGT Brava, you're looking at about 340, give or take. So they are proper bits of kit. So same feeling, swing. That felt faster. Just to the right hand side, could be a little swing thing today, but it's not as right as the other ones that I've hit. This is always a fun shaft to hit. Ugh. Little pushy, I think that's a swing thing today. Going in the same sort of area. The slight difference in feel is that with the Velocore Plus, it does feel a little bit slower through the ball, but it doesn't feel slower through the ball until you grab this. Boosh. Up the middle quite nicely. That's got some legs on it. Yeah, nice. You can absolutely get through both of these shafts. They want to be hit even in a 50 gram stiff flex, which for me is lighter and softer than I'm used to. They can be handled. And in fact, I think they need it. So I'm gonna take out the worst shot in both shafts. No, I'm not. I'm gonna leave them all in there actually. So a comparison. So five shots against five shots. Oh, I have a much tighter dispersion ring on the Velocore. Direction is about the same. That's my swing today, granted. But there's way less variance in there. I didn't take any shots out. Ball speed, basically the same. Just a little bit tighter in tolerance on the Velocore Plus. Launch the same. Spin, very similar. A little bit higher on the Brava. 286, 291. That's a decent difference there and it's a tighter tolerance and it's a tighter tolerance. I prefer that kind of like tight ring there between these two. But for someone that doesn't quite have as much ball speed, you might get enough stability in the Brava. Just if you get over a certain threshold, you're gonna get more out of the Velocore, in my opinion, from what I've seen so far. I find the Brava quite a fun shaft to hit in general. It does get some absolute ball speed out there. The longest shot that I hit out of that group was 320 with the BGT Brava. 